Okay, hi everyone. Um, I'm going to show you how to split uh, supplied printer spreads um, in Acrobat using the um, Bitstop plugin. So here I'm opening a subtle stitch book that's been supplied in spreads and as you can see here, we have a, well, it's spread, so it's going to be double that um, to a 92 page. Yeah. And what we need to do is split this up so that we can use it how we need it. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the page thumbnails and we are going to go to our global changes, um, which is, uh, the, where is it? I don't know where this is, but the shortcut is Control Alt and G. And uh, you need to find these split pages in half. So if it's not here in your recent, you can type it and it should come up. So now if you go in there if it's a spread and it's landscape you want to split the page vertically based on the trim box so I'm gonna go ahead and run that and it should split our book in half the problem is that because it's uh, supplied printer spreads is that it's um, It's not how we need them if you want to make it a build an impo out of them because uh, the page order will be jumbled. So what I do to fix this is I open up my page box which you can just drag and what you're seeing here is this was actually the last page and that's now page one. So what you see here once it's split is technically page one, page two, second last and last. So with how this works is everything in these middle two columns is the first half of the saddle stitch book. And everything on the outside is the second half of the saddle stitch book. So these two on the outside you'll only see after you've passed the center of the saddle stitch spread. So what we need to do is we need to actually save a version of this so that you already have it split. Once you've done that, you can delete by selecting with the arrow the outside two. So if I want to select this bit as well as this bit, you hold in shift and then you can multi-select and we multi-select the outside from here you can actually delete this so we're going to delete that that's the second half so all of all of these that are left here is the middle bit so we're going to go ahead and save this and you save it in whatever location you want um, I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it first half. And I'm going to save it there. Then I can leave it open. It doesn't matter. I'm going to open the split book once again. Okay, if you want to quickly um, get to full page view, it's just control zero. Or you can control and you can mouse wheel up or mouse wheel down. But control zero works really well. And what we have here is now the full book once again. And what we're doing now is we're deleting the first half so that we're only left with the back half. So you can just delete and now we have the back half of the book. So the problem with this is that this is all in reverse now because of how it was split from the spread so what you need to do is control p print 
and you need to under printer select that you want to make it a PDF yours will probably look like this so if you drop down more options you have an option to reverse the pages tick that on make sure you have actual size and this I always select on it always works choose paper source by the PDF page size so the supplied or the size after it's been split so we're going to go ahead and print that in reverse it will have a little save as icon down here and then you can call this back off and you can save it in the same location as long as you can find it so now we have the back half we can close the full split of the full book it's fine so now we have the back half and we have the front half so again control zero we can view our pages and we can control a select everything left click drag it behind your first half and we should end up with 92 pages so this is perfect so let's control home all the way back to the first page we can close our page view and then we can see that if you look at the pages you now have a fully split book so if we go to page 46 which would have been the center you have 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 don't worry about those blanks this book has blanks in those positions where you just saw so let's go to the end um, and that's the back of the book and um, now you're ready to go with your full complete book already been split